Hey guys, and welcome to my next reaction to The Punisher. So what I really loved at the end of the last episode is the fact that it seems like Frank and used to be Rachel, now Amy, <laughs> um, are kind of on the same page a bit and are maybe starting to build a bit of trust with each other. And I'm really excited to see where that goes. Um, and I feel like there could be a really great relationship between the two and I'm very excited about that. So yeah, let's get right into this. Uh, Damn it. I'm gonna go slow. Shut up. Yeah. Ah, oh my god, this is adorable. Are you kidding me? Ah! Be smart. Don't play. Ooh. Seriously, well, what? You can't win, Frank. Oh. See, that's the thing. Knowing the move will help you. If I know you know, the only way to win is to not play. Well, that There's doesn't no really option. sound like what Frank is gonna do. <gasps> Shut the fuck up! Turk! Ah! Oh, hell no. <laughs> well, yeah. You gotta go see him. You gotta tell him that you got a guy who's got what he needs from Chicago. Call me on this number when you get it all set. We'll drive angry now. Right. Frank, don't get Turk killed. It's insane how far I've come on how I feel about Turk. <laughs> he did not have the best first impression, but here I am. So fucked up from all of this. So why didn't you call the cops? Hmm? I don't know. We both know they're out there. We both know that they're looking for Just why. be here. I don't know why I let you in. <clears throat> Me neither. My best answer is that it seemed like the right thing to do. You know, you might be the only person in the world who gives a shit about me right now. That's probably true, sweetheart. Well, to be fair, I think Frank gives a shit about him. What are you doing? Just not like a, yeah. not a positive shit, you know? I still have to find a way to put him behind bars. I wish I couldn't do that, gonna fix it for you. Oh, come on, sweetie. Uh. So maybe she can help us with the Russians, like uh, deport them or something. Jesus Christ. Ah! No, whatever shit. You've gotten into, I have brought it. Oh me. my god, Amy, you are not helping. I think you should get some sleep. That's really not what she wants to hear. Though You've possibly got true. Hours to get out of New York. <laughs> what is with people in shows that I watch doing this? <laughs> Daddy's busy. Thank you, Lindo. Is that like a ridiculous amount of bleach behind him? I'm it must still be addressed. But you have given me a good man's life. I will do what needs to be done. But we can rest easy knowing that if God continues to smile on our path, that day will soon come. Can't tell who he's looking to. Girl! That's not your shit! Oh my god, I would lose my mind on her. Oh my god, she does make me laugh though. Aw, oh, good for you. Use that damn coaster. <laughs> oh, Turk, you be careful. Chicago. Shit. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh my god. Don't kill Turk! Pinchewski's dead. Someone killed him. In Chicago. Oh no! Frank's not gonna do anything! I'm not going back. Can I just say... She I'm is... not going back, ever. Okay. They have to kill me first. She's no, messing no. with fire. She is so fucking around no, no. with fire right now. You scared? Hmm. Girl, look at you! 
So this lady, she puts you up at her house. You steal from her. That's what you do. So rude. Well, like she can't afford else. it. Is she ever happy about anything? Like, ever? Unbelievable. Is that Lombardi's? That's what mushroom. Holy shit. <laughs> oh my god. It's not funny, but... Well? But what? Well, it's kind of funny. I got phone in my back pocket. Just grab it. Come on. Here we go. Don't throw her shoe. You know how expensive something. Oh, okay, okay. All right. Sorry, I get protective of shoes. Whew. I'm taking a risk letting you use my credit. Hope you appreciate that. Oh, I do, Turk. I surely do. Oh. I don't think Frank cares what happens to Turk. Sounds pretty sketchy. He's lying through his teeth. So then it's a trap. It might be. Mm-hmm. It definitely is. Going? Yes, I am. Bullshit people. One bullshit day after the next. Who the fuck is that? You seem upset, Jake. Where are you feeling that? In your body. My stomach. Is he upset how that she's helping somebody how else? You accept this painful, world shattering change. Are you still going to your support group? Yep. Straight up to this. Yeah, I'm. No! 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 I say no. Are we still meeting? Yeah, yeah, just grab some coffee and we'll stop in a sec. Look, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm gonna take a few minutes. Oh my god, is Billy there? Fuck. Okay, I'm not gonna do that. So. Oh my god, you were the best. Catch me at the meeting. Or better yet, how about you sit in? Oh my god, yes, do it, girl. You are, t you need it, 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 sweetheart. I wanna know what the tourist is doing here. You want some sort of research trip, honey? Good Jake. I actually be here. I'm all over. So now I can speak for myself. Oh, yes, she can. You think guys stuck in OPs where the only ones fighting these wars? They don't tell you how getting shot burns. The face of massive damage made to the body just registers heat. They don't tell you they're fighting for something you believe in over in your life because they've never stopped a bullet. Oh my God, girl. I still think I need to do my research. Drop the mic. Sorry, man. Oh. Sincerely, I didn't realize. Because I wish Frank ended the whole damn thing right on that carousel. Mm. <sighs> oh my god. Still doesn't look so good. It really doesn't, Frank. And you're not friends with Danny, like so you can't it. get some robot arm. Uh oh. You're gonna get a really bad drinking buddy. It's all the same to you. Knock yourself out. Literally, knock yourself out. You say the same for that face? Oh, oh. You should see the other guy. Both of us. Oh no. That is a that is bad. That is bad, 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 bad. Oh god. Oh man, this is gonna be some shit. It's time to start talking. I'm not the one who's gonna be talking. Oh, oh no. Oh no, this is gonna be fun. Wow! My god, Frank, you come out the gate with that? Woo! Oh no, that's painful. Oh, 
Okay, Turk, just creep out slowly. Try not to upset Frank while you do so. I really don't ever want to see you again. Feelings mutual. What? <laughs> what a friendship. I love it. Just, it's so beautiful. Dude. Dude, you, no. All they ever do is tell us where the problem is. We're the ones that need to change. Billy Russo has always been a next level son of a bitch, right? I knew who you were the second you sat down. It's a real pleasure to meet you. No! No. No. Those are a lot of medals on your wall. That's interesting. Oh, good, you're back. Girl, are you cleaning? Because you better be. <laughs> Where are we going? Buddy Curtis, you got a place for us. Yeah, we got When is that woman ever had? Aw, you guys are bonding. But, like, honestly, poor Madani. They clean the place for her, though. God, I feel so bad for her. Oh, great. Okay, guys, so I really liked that episode. Um, there are a couple of things that I kind of want to, like, talk about and mention. First of all, I feel so damn bad for Madani, I can't can't take it. I really do feel <laughs> horrible for her. Um, you know, she's going through that. Well, as soon as I loved the scene between her and Kurt, I, I just adored that. And I don't know why I didn't connect that in my brain earlier that she might really need to have a session with Kurt and or the group or, or whatever. I really, you know, she's dealing with a lot of PTSD. And I mentioned this and I think it was the last reaction, but that, you know, I really love the fact that we're kind of going, we're sticking with the theme of people who kind of have some sort of trauma in their lives and, and them trying to come back from it. You know, that was a main theme in the first season and it's continuing on in this season, just kind of in a different way, but I really love that. And the focus through Madani she's my heart is literally breaking for her and she's really trying but she's also like such a I feel like a prideful person and a person who puts walls up all the time that it's kind of difficult for her to sort of um ask for help or anything like that you know what i mean i i, I just oh love her um it was great seeing Turk again. It's always great seeing Turk. I said, I swear it's hilarious that, you know, the first time we meet Turk, I think he's like literally doing some sort of human trafficking. Is that correct? It's like the first scene in Daredevil or something. Was that Turk? I believe it is. <laughs> it's been a while since I've seen <laughs> the first season of Daredevil, but, um, and it's just, he's such a staple, I feel like for all of these shows to just pop up and be a nuisance, but also be helpful in some way. And I really, really enjoyed uh, seeing him <laughs> again. Um, there's a few other things uh, that I want to touch on. One second. Sorry guys, I had to switch out my batteries. Um, so there's a couple of things, other things that I wanna to touch on. Uh, mainly, uh, Billy. So Billy's going through a lot right now as well. Um, and some would probably say deservedly so. I don't, you know, uh, I think uh, him drinking excessive amounts of alcohol is not gonna help anything. Um, and you know what I'm really curious about is if he starts to remember, if he starts to understand things, if he start like all of that stuff, how is he genuinely going to 
feel about it, I'm not sure he's going to feel any remorse. He's still, he's still got the crazy in him. We've seen it. Um, and his therapist is getting more and more interesting as every episode goes on. Obviously, she's had her own trauma, probably. Um, I don't know if that was kind of like a panic attack that she, with the window uh, scene and everything like that, but um, I feel like she has a lot of trauma of her own that she's still coping with, and I think that that's interesting as well. Um, and I, I, I think it's gonna, I, I, I will say this, I think her and Billy's relationship, professional and or otherwise, is not gonna be good. I don't feel like it's not gonna be healthy for either of them. <laughs> I feel like it's just gonna get bad and messy and all of that. Um, I really, you know, the, the gym scene was, was great, uh, and violent and crazy, but I liked it nonetheless. Uh, I don't know what this says about me, but you know, uh, I love that when like Frank threatens people, you know, like when you watch Daredevil and Matt threatens people and they're all like, okay, but like Fisk is going to kill me, you know, but I loved when he said, you know, that he was like, they'll kill me if I talk. And he's like, what the fuck do you think I'm going to do? His threats mean something. And I like that about Frank a lot. Um, I'm ready for Frank and Amy to take on the world. Um, they're going to, I, they said that they're going to go to a spot that Kurt's going to help them out with. I'm okay with that. I love, I gotta say, like, I feel like Kurt is probably one of the most underrated characters in all of Marvel Netflix. I absolutely adore him. <laughs> um, and I'm really excited. Uh, I feel like shit's about to hit the fan. Uh, and, um, uh, that guy, I need to know his name. I don't think I know his name. Preacher man, preacher man. Uh, he, uh, he's, he's in town. <laughs> so it's going to be some shit, but I'm very excited about it nonetheless. I hope that you guys are excited for my next reaction. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.